So we're back on the banks again and we are in search of that £30 pike. I'm here for a day session, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning, I'll be here till about 3 o'clock and I'm going to be roaming around the lake as I normally do. Past few sessions we've had a few blanks, we've had a few sessions where we've caught fish, so it's sort of 50-50 at the moment. And I spoke to a couple of guys that have been fishing on here and they've had absolutely nothing, so I don't know what to expect, you know it's a difficult water regardless of what the weather's like, so hopefully today we can catch some fish. Now I'm going to be fishing two ledger dead baits, both on sardine, I'm going to be fishing the margins and like I say just comb the lake, move every hour, hour and a half, something like that and then hopefully by the end of the day we'll end up back here and would have caught some pike. So without further ado, I'm gonna get the lure rod out. I'm gonna have probably 10, 15 minutes on the lure. Yeah, fingers crossed that we can get some pike and hopefully a big monster as well. Bass have been out for probably 45 minutes. I'm going to give it another 10 15 minutes, then move over to the opposite margin. We've had a few problems with the seagulls, with it being shallow water here. I've had to pump the baits out probably 40 50 yards, and then I think it's in about five or six foot of water because I was hoping that the shallow water the pot might be in it. You know, there'd be some small fish around these reed lines, but we haven't had any interest at all. Nothing on the uh, on the fishing front, so I spoke to a chap, he'd been on here for a couple of days, caught nothing, the lake hasn't been fishing well at all, so I'm not too sure what to expect to be honest, but you know, you've got to be in it to win it, and hopefully we don't get any rain, because behind me there's some big dark clouds coming over, so yeah, it's all good, hopefully we can get one of the big gills today, it would be nice, but I think it's going to take a long time to get amongst them, because it's not an easy water, it is quite a tricky pit, and I think a couple of chaps have come down the bottom end to do some fishing as well, so there's a few anglers on. The past two days we've had a lot of rain, it's been really cold, and it's put a lot of people coming off fishing to be honest, but you know, is today going to be the day for the big 3-0? That's what the quest is all about, we're going to put as much time in as we can, try and catch it, and uh, hopefully we can uh, catch a few pike today and get amongst some of these big gills, because I really do fancy catching a big in today. And like I say, the wind's blasting into that sort of bottom corner of the lake just down there. And I'll end up there probably about one o'clock, work my way down, and then hopefully we can um, get some fishing. So in the second swim, I've got this kind of area I've got an eye on. I've gone quite far out with this rod just around here and the right hand rod again just around here and I'm going to bring them in every half an hour there and there and then or, or stagger them. I have one far, one, one short, just, just rotate them around the swim and see if there's any fish in the area. Can't get too far out because of the baits I'm using. I think if I do start targeting the deeper areas further out I'll just put lamprey on and go for that but for the time being you know pike first thing in the morning they love the margins and the sort of shallow areas here so yeah fingers crossed we get by yeah i think we're going to get a bit of rain later on scars looking absolutely moody as anything black as you like and hopefully we'll get a bit of sunshine later but I think at the moment, for parking conditions, this is absolutely perfect. Just need one of them big girls to come along and take the bait. See, that's that's not too bad. I'm, I, I don't mind that. That's most of that weed's been bought on the retrieval. There's quite a lot of blanket weed in the lake, and on the far side, in the shallow areas, as you can imagine, it's absolutely caked with it. So I've had to put sort of tail rubbers to cover all majority of the traces so well the links and stuff so i don't clog it up too much but in general that was that presentation was absolutely perfect i put most of this in when i've actually brought the bait back in so yeah blanket we can be an absolute nightmare but the pike do like to use it as cover and they do like to 
use it as a an ambush point, tuck themselves away in it and let's see if we can uh, get some of these big girls in. So I think I'm actually going to take this bait further down this margin area, I'm going to cast it further down here and see what happens. Beautiful. So I think it's time for a move. We've got no action here whatsoever. Normally, if you've got pike in the area and you've cast a bait there and you've had about an hour or so there, normally you'd have had a bite. And this part of the lake, the top end, I've never really had any bites here, but I'd never leave any stone on turn because you never know, there could be a few big deals being held up here. So apologies for the audio if it's crackly, but there's a lot of wind coming on this lake and it's just a pain and it's nothing I can do about it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wind the rods in, gonna move, probably 150 yards further down then I'll move round to the bottom corner of the lake and sort of work my way around and by dinner time sort of late dinner will be back to where we started from so I'm gonna get a wind in there and let's get cracking on. We're in swim number three and you know the wind's still be howling in so apologies if the audio is really bad but I'm thinking sort of a mindset the fish might be the majority of the pike might be tucked away in a certain area of the lake you know I've done covered quite a lot of water in this sort of area and there's nothing there I'm wondering if there's a, a large amount of pike at the bottom end of the lake so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to bypass this marginal line although the big the big fish do get caught from it I'm thinking that bottom end corner spend a bit more time down there there's a lot of weed beds down there a lot of blanket weed you know a good bit of cover for the fish and this southwesterly wind's been going for probably a couple of days so you know they might be down that end to be honest I mean there might not be nothing there at all but I'm just trying to cover all bases and I think I do I'm, I'm, I'm confident for a bite down there so I'm gonna give it a probably an hour and a half here and then I'm gonna venture down into that bottom corner because there is a few anglers on this bank and then see if we can get any action there. But normally on gravel pits, when you've had real unpredictable weather, you know, bands of rain, it's gone really cold, you've had a frost, it can upset the fishing a little bit, especially in pike fishing. And you'll find that they're concentrated in one area on the lake and it's just stumbling across where they are. I mean, for all I know, they could all be at the top end where I've already fished and they're just not having it. It's as simple as that. But you know, that's pike fishing. So yeah, but I don't know, I'm confident for a bite down that bottom end, I really am. So I'm gonna give it an hour and a half down here. And yeah, because there's a few anglers on the opposite bank as well, so I can't be moving to too many swims. But you know, fingers crossed we get some fishing. we've been here for probably an hour and a bit something like that and it's really quiet so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna avoid this bank I'm gonna move to the far corner of the lake and spend a few hours there or maybe the rest of the day they're not too sure yet but and then I've just got a good feeling about that corner I mean there might not be anything there but it's just a hunch I've got and spend a bit more time in that far corner and see if there's any part there so I'm gonna get wrapped up get the barrow ready barrow to that corner and then see if there's any part knocking around right let's have a look at this I've never never fished this swim before 
water levels have come up up so slightly. Normally I'd be fishing sort of here. I've done a session there. Yeah, I think we'll give this one a bash. I was in the swim and I'm convinced the weather conditions have played a massive part for the lake not producing many pike to be honest. There's a fair there's a fair few fishing here, not huge amounts for the size of it, but speaking to a few anglers that have come round here and there that have been doing sessions, the lake isn't fishing well at all. When you have fluctuations in weather, you know, lots of rain, it can put the pike off and that can make life a little bit difficult. But I think I'm I'm not very confident for a bite if I'm honest, I'm really not. I've got probably half an hour left before I have to get going so you know it's going to be one of them things really I'm I don't know I really don't it's difficult times you know it is a difficult lake regardless and any of the members watching this or people that fish this place will know exactly what I'm talking about so yeah it's just going to be a case of waiting and seeing but I'm going to do a fresh recast in a minute keep it on the water and yeah, I'll return in probably three or four days time and do another day session and then basically just keep repeating the process until we catch the big girls. So it's time for a recast, put a fresh bait on as well and yeah, let's see if we can get one out of the bag last knockings. Coming up to the last probably 45 minutes of the session, it's just about to start to rain and today's been a really quiet day. I thought we might have had at least one, maybe you know a couple of small ones, but unfortunately it hasn't occurred. So I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes before the rain starts coming down and then I'm gonna start packing up, heading back to the car and then, uh, you know, these things happen. You know, if I was on the river, it'd be a lot easier and we can catch the fish, but on lakes like this, it is difficult, it is tricky and it's been at the right place at the right time, you know. It's not a case of luck, it's just being there when they're there, it's as simple as that. And moving around has helped in the past. Sometimes caught nothing, sometimes we've had a few. But in general, I do like to be active, trying different swims, and then putting myself in chance of catching some of these big girls because you can come here, you can spend days and then fishing in one spot, catch nothing, roam around the lake and catch three or four fish, you know. It's just luck of the draw, really. So I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes, then stop packing up. And then that's another session under his belt. And hopefully the next time we come, it'll be another day session. And hopefully we can try and catch some fish and hopefully one of the big girls. So yeah, I just want to thank everybody for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.